So there's all those lines. And uh, I think the most heartbreaking part that I do want to mention is the um, what I experience of the people who I I feel like a lot of people might be able to connect to this who, uh, you know, may have had conversations with family members after 2016 who are like, I did not know that my aunt was a huge bigot. And now I'm reading her Facebook posts and realizing that, like, wow, she's really been brainwashed into maybe the wrong side, just not wrong, but rather incorrect information has yeah. been fed to this person. And now I can't get them to come in and see yeah. what the facts are. Um, and so it's really hard. I recently had an exchange. I recently had an exchange with my uncle, which was absolutely heartbreaking. And I, I might get a little choked up, um, but we were taught my sister and I were talking to him about how, you know, the war is not what it's what they perceive it to be. Um, and and he's in how Russia now, or he's in. Right, right, right. My uncle in Russia versus my sister and I in New Jersey. Um, and we're talking through WhatsApp and talking about what the reality is of we actually sent him. Uh, I don't, I'm sure people are familiar with the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger video of him t uh, pleading with the Russian people. It was posted. It went all over Facebook. <laughs> so we sent that to him because we're like, oh, we know this guy loves Arnold. You know, he loves the term. Like he's the exact he audience. He won't listen to anybody. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> and uh, oh, my God, he got the rant of rants back. And it included things about how, uh, like, America's morally corrupt because of all of the genders we subscribe to, which I don't even know what that means. It was just, it was heartbreaking. For what that has to do with the war in Ukraine. Yeah, it has nothing, it has nothing to do with the war. Yeah. Uh, and to, it, he's somebody I grew up admiring a great deal and listening to him and, and, loving his logic and everything and just seeing that completely be the complete opposite of anything that I could yeah. fathom this man ever saying to me like 10 years ago. Um, and it was just, it was angry. It was bigoted. It was a lot of things. And what's more heartbreaking is that like, he's following the information that he has. And if in the U S your aunt might, if she wants to eventually be able to seek out, you know, better facts and, accurate information he doesn't stand a chance he's not going to find that he doesn't know how to find that and he would have to actively be looking outside of what russian propaganda is providing him and he would also have to actively actually doing so would probably make him a target potentially uh right. what websites he's visiting uh you know if he's using a vpn to find information outside like all of that and so just kind of coming to terms and realizing and being rather saddened by the fact of like, this is not the person I thought he was and how many other people like this are in Russia really feeling like what the Russian uh, government is doing is the right thing for them right now. Like if I was in Russia, I would not be able to say any of the sentences that I just said. Right. Like, so you would be, it's, yeah, it's a tough pill to swallow. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sorry. I think I took longer than uh, the entirety rest of the okay. podcast, but I, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to share. And, I grew and, up yeah. celebrating Ukrainian culture. So it's a very weird, very, very weird thing.